What better way to pay homage to the Great Horned Rat than by painting up one of his best representatives in the Vermin Lord. But I'm not talking about one of these brand new multi-part plastic kits. No, no, no. I'm going old school. Back when Warhammer models, or back when Warhammer characters were great big chunks of metal. Not only was this guy a big deal back in Warhammer Fantasy 7th edition, he was a massive 500 points. Now 500 points back then could have got you 2 Hellpit Abominations, you could have got 12 Rat Ogres, or one of the funniest things I noticed when I was looking at it, 250 Skaven Slaves. And over time it got hard to get this guy on eBay, but I was finally able to get him at a good price and it was the right time. So enough bragging about the guy, let's have a look at him. So after enough talking about him, here he finally is, my old school uh, metal model vermin lord. I absolutely adore this guy, he is so cool. Um, the first thing you'll probably notice is I went with a kind of a scenic base. I wanted him standing up on something, pointing into war, I wanted him to look, look super epic and I wanted him to really stand out when he's like amongst all the, the clan rats and everything like that. Um, so what I've been using lately is the Garden of Moor for uh, basin because I'm wanting to keep that team with any new scaven stuff I do now. Um, and then some underneath that you can see there's some cork and there's some little rats there just for effect as well. Uh, happy how it came out. I think it suits it very well. He, his back foot is pinned because he's very top heavy and the front leg wasn't really sticking. So he's pinned all this model is all his weight is down on that one foot on the back there. But as long as it's holding I do not mind. Um, it was pretty easy to paint. There was no real hard parts except for maybe the, the warp stone. So what I did with the warp stone on his forehead was um, it was wog flesh just brightened up eventually and I put a wash over it to darken it and I think I dry, bu dry brushed I think oh sorry I dropped my camera my brand new camera holy shit did I break it I hope not um, a dry brush I think it might have been goblin green it was one of the older paints anyway um, I just kind of dry brush it around to give that kind of glow effect maybe if I move them a little bit forward you might be able to see it a bit better um, I didn't want to go mad with the glow effect because I can't really do it justice. Oh, we just missed it. He's turning around there. But it'll give us a chance to focus on the skin. It was the first time using Bugman's Glow. It's a very bright kind of flesh color. But it's it's fine. I'll definitely give it another go eventually in, uh, down the line. His tail is from the new Vermin Lord. But I think because when I bought the guy, he didn't have a tail. Um, it didn't really bother me too much because I knew I could get something to fix it. But what I did was I looked in the old Vermin Lord kit and any of the bits left over and I found this. I think this is part of his hair or a beard or something like that. It's not a tail piece, but it suits him perfectly down to the ground. Um, so I'm not going to complain about it if it suits him. And the piece like fitted exactly right where the tail should go. Um, here you can see the warp stone effect on the end of the staff if it focuses. Um, I'll take him off this eventually to get him to stop spinning. Actually, let's do it now. Let's get off this spinny thing and get you down here. There we go. Let me get you in focus. So you can get a better look at the uh, warpstone stuck on his forehead there. Again, I think I just did enough dry brushing to make it have that glow effect going around his uh, the top of his head and everything. And I didn't want to go over the top. I need the metal pieces. I wanted to keep them all just silver and gold. Um, because I didn't want them to like over overshadow everything that this guy has. The blade on the top I kept it pretty simple, didn't want to do too much with that. Um, mainly because if I wanted to do like a magic blade, um, it would have taken way longer. I would have had to paint another few models or another few swords just to get the effect right. And I wanted to get this guy done. Because I really wanted to put him up there with the rest of my army because he looks so cool with him. Um, here you can see the end of the staff, the big lump of warps on it. Again... Um, I went with the same colours with the wog flesh and the dark wash, I think I used the green wash over, I'm not too sure now. Um, and then I just kind of lightly dry brushed the goblin green over the top of it. But it was very very lightly just to get the edges. I didn't really want the glow effect on this part. But um, I think I got it pretty well. Um, not sure if I showed it at the start but you can see the two rat guys on the bottom, I thought that was a really nice little 
addition to add in there. Um, but overall, I love this guy. He, um, he's definitely an old school model. I've been, been dying to get for so long. But eBay prices haven't been right, you know that way. Um, but if, I'm glad now I have him now. And when I put him up on the shelf, he really does stand out amongst all the clan rats and everything like that. Um, he's just tall enough to stand over. Uh, all of them with the scenic base as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this guy. He was a ton of fun to paint up. Um, sometimes you do have to love the old metal models. Um, even if they're a pain in the ass to glue together. If there's all, like mishaps on them more than often than not. Um, they are a pain. But sometimes when you get one like this. It's just definitely worth doing. So that was the Skaven Vermin Lord. Personally, he is one of my favourite models by far. I've been trying to get him for a while and I love the look of him, I love the feel, I love that he, I don't have a fan of big metal models but it's nice to know that the important ones are big chunks of metal and I just enjoyed painting this guy, he was so much fun, I'm delighted I have him. Is there, am I going to get another one? I don't know, maybe eventually, maybe I could, could convert one up but that's down the line. So I now it's time to move on to something different. I think I'm going to be moving on to another Vermin Lord. So make sure to stay tuned for that. But more importantly, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Make sure to hit the like button, comment and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next video.